Listen, if you're not doing this in Madden 20, I mean, are you even playing the game, bro? Are you? Are you even playing the game? I'm out of focus. Put me in focus. No, but seriously, are you even are you even playing the game? I'm going to show you today how to beat man coverage, especially press man coverage. We're going to give you in practice mode and in game mode. Let's get into the video. How to beat man coverage. Let's do it. So before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know we do stream every Monday and Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Central and every Saturday at 1 p.m. Central. We're starting to throw in some of those weekend league games as well. Randomly on Thursdays, we stream at twitch.tv.youtube. Nope. Whoa. We stream at twitch.tv slash DG the chef. Make sure you guys come over and hang out with us. But other than that, today, you already know, man coverage, how to beat press. Now, this video is going to go over some things that we learned in this video. If you have not watched this video, I'll tell you a lot of the secrets of playing man coverage. I highly suggest that you go check that out. In this video, however, I'm going to take what we learned from that video and tell you how to beat it. This is going to be a good video, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you guys some secrets because I always show you the good secrets. All right. All right. I know you guys are going to ask me, DJ, what playbook you were in? I believe this is the Tampa Bay playbook. I actually wanted it to be New England. So that just goes to show you that it doesn't matter which formation you're in, but as long as you follow these concepts, you will be good to go. What we're looking for is a formation that has a slot receiver, technically a slot receiver lined up as the number one receiver. And the formation also allows us to motion a receiver from the opposite side over to the receiver side that has one receiver and turn him from receiver number one to receiver number two. Now that might sound pretty uh finicky and complicated but it's really not that complicated i'll show you exactly what i mean we're going to run a press coverage here so i'm just going to go ahead and press and so what you're going to see here is that mike evans is actually our number one receiver on the left side but he's technically lined up in the slot and you know he's in the slot because we get slot type of routes like cross corner post stop and go now i have a two slot receivers over here technically by madden terms but this is number one this is number two um god was number two on my right side and brown is number one on my left side now what i want to do is i want to be able to motion receiver from one side of formation to the other side of formation but i want him to become number one and not number two and i'm going to show you why that is when you're in man these white lines show up and these white lines are basically responsible for telling you who that guy is covering the outside corner right here we're talking about williams he's always responsible for covering the number one receiver. The slot corner will always try to cover the number two receiver. And then the outside corner on this side will cover the number one receiver to his side. When you motion someone from one side, like we're about to do with Brown, over to the opposite side, you'll see that that number one corner already gets to the location, the predetermined location that Madden has for him. He doesn't wait for the receiver to come across. He's already set before the receiver even gets over there. This creates a breakdown in the system, if you want to call it that. But what Madden is really trying to do is a combination coverage, which the outside corner takes the outside route, not the outside receiver, and the inside corner takes the inside route. Now, this is something that we do often in high school, college, and in the NFL, but Madden hasn't coded it correctly, and it, it sort of breaks sometimes. What we're going to do is take advantage of their bad coding, all right? So I'm going to pull up here. You'll see that I have basically everybody's covered in man right i'm just gonna motion brown over and you'll see what i mean about the breakdown as soon as i motion him over williams automatically has him already so you see how his line changes to brown before brown even gets across the line of scrimmage you see now it goes back to mike evans but we're still rotating this is the breakdown in the coverage we're going to take advantage of that all right so since williams picks him up so early we're going to now run him away from Williams. So what I'm going to do is put Antonio Brown on a route that runs away from the corner that's actually covering him. I'm going to do that for both Mike Evans and Antonio Brown. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave Mike Evans in the route that he's in. Oh, actually, I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to put him on a little five yard out. Okay. And I'm going to put Antonio Brown on a cross route. So right now, this cross route is going to Williams, right? But once he motions, it's going to be going away from him and he'll be wide open i mean like wide open so let's go ahead and run this play so i can show you guys what it looks like now the the best part about this and what you actually need to make sure is that you can snap this ball before the receiver is actually set and that normally happens when you have a receiver that's off the line of scrimmage like brown is here so i want to snap this ball 
right as we get past that line so there we go and you'll see that brown becomes unbumpable uncurable and is wide open and there's a reason why this happens i'm gonna run this again without actually passing the ball so you guys can see what the lines look like okay let's go ahead and do the same thing we're gonna run mike evans on a route away from the slot and then we're gonna run brown on that crossing route and we're just, all we're gonna do is basically pull up the man coverage so you guys can see what it looks like so let's motion and let's try to snap so you see he stays on him he stays on him we're gonna snap he's still covering him but he's covering him from five or ten yards away which makes him come wide open every time you can do this with one step you can do this with regular man you can do this however you want this is going to happen whenever those corners don't switch properly now if you're in like a trips tight end they do switch off routes a lot better than i found this works best when you have a one receiver coming a number two receiver based off of emotion so what i'm going to do next is actually show you guys a clip of me running this in gameplay so you can actually see that this does work in games as well against real live competition so here we have some really good gameplay that we actually just played in a couple of uh, hours ago and what you're going to see is i'm coming out in that new england patriots formation and i see i have a slot receiver backside i know he's playing man so i'm going to put my rb route on that crossing route and i'm going to leave Deion sanders running that route away from the corner that's coming over now what you're going to see is i do get that switch we get that same motion and you'll see that that slot corner actually supposed to cover Dion, but he's out of position because of the motion now we can rewind that one more time so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about so if we come over we'll see i run that cross route with my slot guy Dion has that out route and if we were to pause it right here we know that this guy because of the motion this guy right here has this guy he's nowhere near him and he has one step and this guy here has this guy watch what happens as soon as we snap this ball we automatically we get him he gets that animation he is still kind of out of position we can't throw that because this guy's in this area right here but because he was so out of position Dion is wide open one step really can't activate he can't make up for that yardage and we get that sideline dot really quick that is the motion in essence you want to make sure that you run that play of that nature find you some routes find you some combinations that you can run to take advantage of that cross between the slot and that number one corner this last step is actually extremely easy to perform and you absolutely need to add it to your offense and it's simply smart routing your in routes i can't explain to you how important this is it absolutely destroys man coverage what do i mean by smart routing because somebody asked me down in the comments what, how do you smart route you smart route by basically pressing y or triangle on your on your playstation going to the receiver and then when you see down here where it says underneath drag it says smart route that is going to change your routes depth that means that if it's going to change it to be at the first down marker so the shorter the distance away from the first the quicker your cut's going to be the further you way are from the first the deeper your cut's going to be it's hard to show you this in actual um, practice mode because first down is always 10 yards but i do have some game film going to show you but what you want to do is man it loses all the time in one direction if you don't know what direction that is go check out this video is gonna it's gonna it's gonna help you out it's some knowledge in there but we know how man works so we know how to man to beat man what i like to do there's three routes well really four routes that i love to run against man coverage i'm going to show you two of those right now one is the post now this post has a very deep cut look at that it's about 15 yards away that post doesn't work well at 15 yards it works really good at anything under 10 yards though man coverage breaks down when receivers start running away from it yeah you may have one step but you're automatically beat the longer you are into the play because people can't cover for forever so what i like to do is smart route my post at any in cutting route that i have to pull away from man faster so basically what we see now is that instead of that being at about 10 or 15 yards and you'll see this in the game it's going to come down to the first down marker and that cut is going to be a lot faster now this is the same thing that you can do with in routes you can do it with uh out routes you can do it with post corners whatever you may do but some routes you can smart route some routes you can't but anytime you have man you could you need to smart route your post your post corners and your in routes it, they just work so well and basically if you're throwing something short you're just going to throw it like kind of underneath with your in routes but if you're throwing a post route you kind of just want to throw the receiver open this is really hard to show you in practice mode so let's go ahead and look at the film 
So here we are in the game film and as you can see, I actually have a hot routed route already on the field and it's this B receiver. And you'll see that it's, it looks like it's a deep route, but it's a lot shorter than what it normally is. So what I actually do is I'm going to hot route it again to show you what it looks like naturally. And what you'll see here, if I pull it up, that this route is a lot deeper naturally, right? So this is the natural progression of that route. Super deep route, super deep corner, right? But if you look at it how it was, it's a lot shorter after I smart route it. And that's because he's making his cuts a lot quicker at that first down marker. Now, this is still a deep route. It still takes time to develop, but he's going to start pulling away from the corner because corners and man coverage suck when the receivers start running away from them. And the more space you have to throw the ball, the better off you are going to be. And that's why those in routes and those post routes and these type of like zig routes work so well. Now let's watch the film and let's see what happens to the man coverage. So we throw an absolute laser down the middle of the field. That corner couldn't even keep up. And I wanna just kind of rewind this to show you guys what's happening. Even with the jam and the one step, he gives us the free release. So he's probably playing over the top here, but we still get on top of him right here, right? And one step works really well on the cut. So you see that it activates twice on the cuts, but my guy is already one step ahead of him and he's already making his cut inside. Even with the one step activating, he's going to start pulling away and one step doesn't help you when you have this much open space. One step's really good at the initial cut, but as soon as you start pulling away from the actual cornerback, one step is garbage, right? If you had deep route K on him, he would have sped up and knocked this ball out. But because he only has one step on him, it's, it's a wrap. It turns back into regular man coverage and it's whoever's the best at that particular point. You see that one step does not activate. We're wide open. All we got to do is throw that ball anywhere within here. And that's simply because we hot routed our route. That's it. That's that's all we did. We literally just hot routed the route to make it a quicker, shorter cut. So the receiver starts pulling away a lot faster. So here goes another really good example of smart routing the post. So we know that those posts normally take about 15 yards to run. This post here you'll see is actually happening at about, I would say, what, 5, 10, 10 yards, 10, 8 yards, he's going to make that cut a lot faster. Normally, he would make that cut somewhere here. Now, he's making that cut about right here. And you can even see the, the angle of this route is still deep. He's just making the cut faster, which means that he's going to make the cut here. One step will activate, but I have so much space to start running away from the corner. So let's take a look at this play to show you what happens. We see one step activates on the cut, but the corner just could not keep up. We just dropped the ball. Okay, we actually come right off that line. Let's do it again. You actually can see it almost gets a little speed burst there. So we're going to come right off that line. Right off that line. Boom. The corner is just the corner is beat. We should have threw this a lot better ball than this. Maybe put a little bit more air on it. Maybe threw it down the field. It's probably a bad throw on us. But that corner is beat. Even with one step, he's wide open. He has about two or three steps on him. We just make a, a, a pretty bad throw there. And that's it guys those are two of my favorite ways to beat press man coverage smart routing your in routes or your post routes or whatever that zig route may be and also making sure that motion from that slot to that number one to that number two spot those always always get me good yardage and it forces the person to either go from playing man to playing like a zone blitz and then that becomes way more predictable but mixing up these motions and, and taking advantage of the bad programming that madden has is a great way to take advantage of all those people running one steps and madden ultimate team or just anyone who's just dedicated to running man in general i hope this has been a great film session with your boy make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button it's been your boy gg chef it's been love as always love and we are out of here all right peace guys